Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer. We're closing in on $200 a month on Patreon, which is our second goal. As part of that goal, my videos are going to be done in 60 frames a second at 1080p. I didn't have the hardware until now to do that. This is the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2. So we're going to unbox this real quick. I've already cut the paper off, but I haven't opened this. So, here we have the device. There's a little kind of a button here. Um, it's got audio in from your like party chat and then you have uh, microphone in. I don't generally use those. Um, you have a volume adjust. You have a slider here. What do these sliders do? It allows you to capture in PC mode or in SD card mode, which is pretty sweet. And then coming around here to the back, we have uh, an SD micro SD slot, micro USB and HDMI in and out. And it has like this nice rubberized bottom, so it'll stay put. And we have gaming solutions. More just advertisements for their crap. Quick guide. I think I know how to do this. This is pretty simple. I wonder if this came with an SD card. Probably not. I'm gonna be recording it with SD rather than with a PC. Although I did read that this is Mac compatible and it didn't seem like it needed a driver. So hopefully, I'm hoping this works with uh, OBS on Linux. We'll test it. How about that? We'll test it. All right, we have a regular male-to-male 3.5 millimeter jack. Ooh, a very sexy braided USB cable. And we also have a very short but awesome HDMI cord. I love these short HDMI cords. I have a couple of these short ones and they're great. <laughs> so that's the whole unboxing. I typically find uh, reading the box to be pretty boring. Inside the box, yep, yep. Specifications. Kind of a bunch of nothing. Well, let's set this up and see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so here's the Avermedia right there. I'm gonna use the small HDMI cord to go from here on my desk to here. No, this is gonna be in. And then I'll just take my HDMI from the computer and I'll plug it in here. I need to use the cable that came with it, this beautiful braided nylon cable. And I'll plug in one in here. And then I'll plug in my, right here on my USB port. Kind of looks like a mess. Whatever, I don't really mind. <laughs> All right, let's see how this works now. Okay, so here we are on my computer. Um, I have OBS open. I have it set up with a screen capture uh, tool, the default one that is in uh, OBS. If I turn it off, there's nothing there. Um, okay, so we're gonna go to add, and then we're gonna go video capture device. And uh, when we go in here, we have the Live Gamer Portable 2, which is this uh, Avermedia device, um, which is really, <laughs> really cool. Um, let's try setting it to 1080p, and let's try setting it to 60 frames a second. And you can see here that it's actually working, and there's a little bit of lag, but not a whole lot. Um, definitely not playable, I wouldn't say, but it's, uh, it's serviceable. Now, you also might notice that the color of the window here, you see this? It looks a bit off, right? Um, and I'll show you. I'll show you the difference here. So I'll disable the Avermedia, and that's what um, OBS looks like. That's what I'm actually seeing when I look at the screen. But when I turn this on, the colors are just slightly skewed, a little bit yellowish, like a tan. Um, I'm hoping that that's just OBS and not the capture device itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, switch over and uh, record to uh, my SD card that I have in this. And um, we're gonna look at some of the footage here. Um, yeah, this is exciting. <laughs> All right, first up we have Hollow Knight. Now this game performs great on my scrappy little steam machine. People get upset when I call it that because it's not scrappy anymore, but... Uh, Oh, it's, it, the, this game works at 60 frames a second, um, and you can definitely tell a difference, at least I can, uh, between the 30 frames a second recording and the 60. All right, here we have Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight's a great example of a game that I wanted to record at 60 frames a second. If you go back and watch my original review of the game, when I would take damage, it was being recorded at 30 frames a second. So Shovel Knight would either appear to have not taken damage, or he would disappear completely for a few frames. That happens because when a game's being played at 60 frames a second, if it's being recorded at 30, 
then every other frame gets discarded. So depending on which frame you actually take damage will determine if you go completely invisible in the recording or not. I'm very happy with the results here. Okay, here we have Mother Russia Bleeds, which is a interesting beat-em-up from Devolver Digital. Um, the premise... I don't really understand the game, really. It kind of reminds me of Bioshock from a story perspective. Um, but it's a side-scroller beat-em-up. Pretty fun. I thought it would be interesting to feature here. Um, the animation is fast and fluid. The colors are reproduced perfectly. Um, yeah, this is a great game. Check it out. Highly recommend it. And then no uh, test would be complete without Cluster Truck. Um, Cluster Truck <laughs> is just amazing and uh it just it's smoother to be watching at 60 frames a second the recordings you know the reason that i bought this capture device is because we're like ten dollars away from reaching 200 dollars on patreon once we reach the goal all the gameplay videos are going to be at 1080p 60 frames a second i'm looking at getting uh camera hardware that'll allow 60 frames a second for live action videos too i don't know how that'll look i've heard people complain about 60 frames a second with live action looks weird but we'll try it i mean i'm not opposed to trying it so yeah so once we reach that goal we're going to be doing 60 frames a second and uh, i'm pretty damn excited about that <laughs> so you can go over to patreon.com slash linux gamer and help out the uh the patreon campaign and if you pledge eight dollars or more you get your name at the end of my videos so thank you so much for uh all your support uh if you like this video you can hit that subscribe button uh make sure you hit the like button and share this if you think it's worth sharing um i thought it was cool discovering the uh, aver media works on linux what do you think <laughs> leave me a comment and as always thank you so much for watching <laughs>